Hi, this is Paimon version 2, episode number 10. In this episode, I'm going to start giving Paimon an AI and build a text-to-speech and a speech-to-text system. In this episode, the aim is to add a microphone to Paimon and try get me to talk via the microphone to a AI and have the AI talk back in a Paimon voice. I've been looking at uh, AI for about a week since I don't know anything and I've got a general plan of what I'm going to do. So the idea is to have the microphone connected in the Orange Pi and I'm probably going to have some sort of um, software later on to then uh, split up the words and that will then get sent over the network as word sound bites and it'll be sent to a server once it's got the text it will send it to something called a large language model then take the text and get a response and then from there it will send it back as text the response to a text-to-speech model or software or library or something like that and that will hopefully spit out a Paimon voice which will then send an audio stream back to these speakers. I'm not going to start with Paimon, I'm going to start with a Windows PC talking to the service. So I'm going to be then sending a stream to one of my servers and I'll have different libraries installed. I'm starting with something called Pocket Finks, which is quite an old library and it supposedly uses a AI model to figure out what the speech is. Uh, this is what I've been told, but again, uh, you get different AI models, models for doing everything from converting text to images to uh, uh, face re recognition to all sorts of things. This previous part was recorded about two and a half months ago, and I've been continuing to work on the AI. I also made a few YouTube videos during that period. We got kittens and I made three videos on that. I made a cat carrier for the kittens and I did a video on that and then I turned one of my old videos which recorded about two years ago when I was catching a rat and that's kept my kept my channel up to date. I've kept the same design with the AI and I've managed to drill into what I'm going to be using for each of the three different components. Something I didn't mention previously is I wanted to keep everything offline or local to my network. I started by trying to get Pocket Finks to run on Windows, but I ran into issues with that, uh, getting it compiled and stuff like that. I had three old rack mounted Linux servers, which two of them stopped working during a flood we had. And I managed to get them all three working again, and I started using them for the testing. I got Pocket Finks to run on a Orange Pi and one of those Linux servers. I then wrote a test app and got it working. It was a microphone on a Orange Pi. On the Orange Pi, I used something called a stream endpointer that is part of Pocket Finks to tell me when the, a human's talking or there's just silent. Then what I did is I passed the audio to the network and it sent it to the speech recognition system. So the problems I ran into was I was getting a whole lot of false positives and it was very inconsistent. I was using a US English model which comes standard with it. There are supposedly other models but uh, I didn't want to spend too much time on one section. I stopped here and then jumped onto the AI part of it. I then found a software library called Olama or Llama CCP. This allows you to run large language models. I then messed around with a few of the AIs which you could uh, run with this. After getting this to work, I was trying to get the text-to-speech working and I was trying to refine the Pocket Sphinx and I spent a whole lot of time going through other libraries. I used something called Onyx and Port Audio and Whisper and Fire Red ASR. I ran into a whole lot of issues with this. And then I found a library called Sherpa Onyx and it's like a container for other libraries. I got it compiling on my Windows PC. I then managed to get Sherpa Onyx working with Fire Red ASR. It was way better than Pocket Sphinx. I still use the human voice detect on the Orange Pi since that was 
was working well. Then I started working on the other part, which is the text-to-speech. I managed to get the Kokoro model working. At this point, I had all three sections working. What I decided to do was start writing the main app. This took a while. I got it to work. It was a bit slow on some of the parts. I found that I was running the voice recognition and the text-to-speech using the CPU. And since I had an NVIDIA card in one of my PCs, I could use something called CUDA to run it instead. And it took me a while to get these working properly. Uh, I ran into compile issues and stuff, but after a while I managed to get this working. This is the demo of where I currently am. On the top is the orange pie, and I haven't started it yet. And at the bottom is what's running on my current PC here with the NVIDIA card on it. There are still quite a few issues. One of the issues I have is these speakers are getting interference. I think I wasn't getting this problem with Pymon, so that's not a problem. The other thing, I'm using Gemma 2, but I'm just using the standard AI. I haven't uh, told it to act as Pymon or do anything. So I'll just start it up here. Um, okay, start the server. Hello, how are you doing today? Thanks for asking. As an AI, I don't have feelings like humans do, but I'm ready to help with whatever you need. How about you? How's your day going? The next door neighbors are making a large noise with a mulching machine. That can be quite annoying. I hope they're not too loud for too long. Do you have any way to block out the noise? like earplugs or playing some music. The problem is I'm trying to make a YouTube video here and I'm busy doing a demo and they just started making a noise. That's really frustrating when you're trying to focus on something important. Do you have any options for pausing the video or finding a quieter spot? Maybe you could try telling your neighbors, politely asking them to tone it down during your recording might work. Using noise cancelling headphones, even if you can't fully block out the sound, it might help muffle it enough to continue your video. Recording in a different room. If possible, find a quieter space where the noise is less noticeable. Rescheduling, if all else fails, Maybe consider postponing your video until the noise subsides. Good luck with your recording. I hope you can get through it without too much disruption. I want to say a word, but uh, the speech recognition doesn't understand it. So I'm going to spell it out. I'm ready. Just spell it out and I'll do my best to understand. P-A-I-M-O-N Nice. A fellow Genshin Impact fan. I see. What about Payman? Is she your favorite character? Can you act as if you are that character? up, her little arms waving excitedly Payman's Hiri. Did you need something? Something super important? Maybe? Or just a yummy snack? Payman's always hungry. But don't worry, Payman's super helpful too. What you need? Payman tilts her head. Now that I've successfully completed the demo on my PC and a random orange pie. What I want to do is transfer the code here and then use the same microphone. This is just a USB microphone I was using. Connect it in here and then retest the whole thing. Still got the old code on here. Just going to upload the code to it and then get it working. So I've updated Pymon with all the code. This is running off an AI version of the code and I've disconnected the arms and the screens and stuff. I'll just go start the server. Hello. 
Okay, uh, there's a problem. I know what I'm doing wrong here. So the this is a USB speaker. I'm sending to the default output, so I'm just gonna have to fix it. I'm pointing at the right speaker now, hopefully. That's just a config change. Can you keep your responses below 50 words? Can you say meow? Mel, is there anything else I can help you with? Can you meow like a cat? Meow. There is a cat trying to talk to you now. You are busy talking to me via a voice recognition system, so in a way you can hear. That's a clever way to think about it. Although I can process your words, I don't experience hearing in the same way a cat does. What's your cat trying to say? The cat is currently smelling the power cords for you, and it might turn you off by mistake. Okay, I'm just stopping the AI now because it uh, reacts to everything I talk to. This is where I stop. I just want to explain what I'm going to do in the future. What I'd like to do is be able to talk to the AI. The AI then sends me some sort of parameter. What it allows me to do is know what emote it's trying to convey. Then I want to actually install a microphone somewhere here and then fix all the bugs. Get the voice to be like Paimon and then also get the AI to think it's Paimon. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the episode and goodbye.